You might find that your hormone changes during perimenopause are having a bit of an effect on your self-esteem and your self-confidence. And it's a really common thing, but I just wanted to share with you a quick, easy and completely free way that you can start working on your self-confidence, whether you're menopausal or not, actually. So if we are trying to train a puppy or a child or any other small creature or person uh, to behave in a certain way, when they behave in that way, we use what we call positive reinforcement, don't we? We do lots of good boy, good girl, well done, that's amazing, you're so clever, oh, that's brilliant, well done, keep going. And we need to do exactly the same with ourselves. It's the opposite of what we're taught to do because we're not taught to celebrate or praise ourselves or blow our own trumpet. But quite honestly, no one else is going to do it for us. And it's a really good way of reinforcing that good feeling you get when you've done something that you feel is right for you. Even if it's breaking an old habit that you need to do to do that. Um, it gives you a nice little hit of dopamine, which is your, um, your self-reward um, brain chemical but also it starts to rewire your brain and change your other brain chemistry as well and then that helps you to just set the wheels in motion and move in this new direction that you want to go in. Conversely if you find yourself behaving in a way that you don't want to behave like let's just say you've just sat down and eaten a whole big bag of kettle chips all to yourself and now you feel really bloated and not very proud of what you've done we've all been there um, just maybe acknowledge what's happened, maybe explore what might have led to you doing that. So, you know, did you do it because you've had a bad day or something's just really upset you and your comfort eating? But try and do it without judgment and definitely don't beat yourself up over it. It's a question of acknowledging it and trying to figure out why it happened and how you can avoid that happening again. So really just learn from your mistake and try and move on as best you can but certainly don't dwell on it and don't beat yourself up. If you find that you're repeatedly having problems with self-esteem, self-confidence or you're behaving in ways that you don't want to behave and you don't understand why, I can strongly recommend advanced hypnotherapy which is one of the services that I offer to my menopause patients and that gives you a chance to really go deep into the subconscious and, and get to the bottom of what's going on and change any patterns that are playing in the background for something a bit more helpful. So if you'd like to find out more about that, please do get in touch. I'm Hannah Charman from Physic Health Consulting. I offer natural menopause solutions for ladies who can't or don't want to take HRT in particular. And you can find me at www.physichealth.uk. I will see you again soon. Bye.